think of it. All right. There's a serious question. Uh, over the weekend, the attempted assassination of Donald Trump. You are a controversial person when you step up to those microphones and cameras and notepads. Um, do you ever worry about something like this? I do worry about my family. Um, we um, we have we do receive a lot of. Some of them are threats. Some of them are implied threats, and some of them are vitriol that you can tell lead to violence. Um, and a lot of them have been targeted at my family. So we have asked for security from both the Prime Minister through the RCMP and from the House of Commons. Uh, and we've received the, that security from both of those sources. So we're very blessed to have that. Okay. Um, yeah, I could see where you'd worry about your family, but what about yourself? I mean, you've got to, at some point, coming in here is a safe way to talk to the public, going into a television studio, that sort of thing. But you're not going to be prime minister if you don't go out there and stand at rallies and, and out in public and talk to people. I was just talking with uh, your friend Alex Pearson, t sharing a story when I was out door knocking, and I met this lady, she's from Cuba, and mid-conversation, she suddenly, out of nowhere, burst into tears. And I said, what's wrong? And she said, nothing's wrong. I said, well, why are you crying? And she said, I'm so happy. Well, what are you happy about? She said, people like, I come from a place where people like you never come to see people like me. She was poor, Cuban, and where she comes from, the politicians roll by in motorcades with uh -huh. bulletproof glass, and I'm sure they never experience any danger at all, but they don't talk to people either. Yeah. So here's the trade-off. We can have politicians who are behind four, foot, uh, four feet of glass who roll by in motorcades but never shake hands with a, a real human being, and then we won't have a democracy. So we, we have the trade-off, and you know, I guess there are... There are whack jobs out there that could do something we take all the precautions possible but we i have to i have to talk to people and i'm not going to stop doing that